we purposefully made a parkour course that will be terrible to elicit a particular reaction. Some call it rage. Uh, welcome everyone to the parkour ultimate event. Kish has made a lot of really good 1000 player Minecraft events, and this was not one of them. Now, don't get me wrong, I think Ish and his team are doing a great job of pushing Minecraft to its technical limits, but for the sake of comedy, I'm going to show you what is probably the most scuffed parkour event I have ever been a part of, which started with very simple one block jumps. Now, normally this wouldn't even be an issue for Jaw Unleashed, but I need you all to understand what having 1,000 players on one course does to a game. If you don't know what player collision is, it pushes players apart so they're not standing right on top of each other in game. Now let me show you what happens when player collision is on and you still somehow manage to stick 100 plus people on a single block. But it turns out it was still possible to complete at least some of the parkour. Do you know what else can happen if you stick a whole bunch of players on a single block? Hmm. Do you think this is an intentional design decision made by Mojang when they designed the game? I don't. I think this whole parkour was meant to challenge the Minecraft gods. Like a virtual Tower of Babel, it should take in the gift of a game he had been given and spat in its maker's face, turning it into an abominable monument to his own hubris, such as the depths a creator will go to for the sake of content. Which, by the way, YouTube tells me I'm a worthless piece of trash because you haven't subscribed yet. So if you want to help, then just go ahead and After giving up because none of us could achieve the baby jumps in Minecraft, Ish warped us all to the next checkpoint in the parkour. Again, it was a fairly simple challenge in concept. A couple jumps up to a higher platform that led to the next area of the parkour. But you add 1,000 players to the mix, and it's just 1,000 players simulating what an ant farm looks like until the server crashes. Which it did. A lot. Actually, funnily enough, there were a couple moments where the server lag was so bad it froze all the other players and actually gave me a chance to complete the parkour, but then the server crashed again. And I think at this point, it just kind of gave up and worked us all to the next checkpoint. The next challenge was a simple drop guest puzzle that led to some relatively easy parkour that I was actually able to complete, even with the entire crowd of VidCon trying to block my way. I couldn't believe it. I was ahead. No longer would the crowd of people be a hindrance to me being able to complete this parkour and go down in history as the first one checkpoint warp later, and the entire server was trying to manage another themed parkour. And normally, when I say the entire server, you'd think I was talking about the players. <laughs> but no, the server itself was struggling. I mean, I don't think the intended route to beat this part of the challenge was to swim up an active waterfall of lava, but maybe getting teleported back every five seconds was a feature. Remember, kids, it's not a bug unless the server crashes. Damn it. One server reboot and checkpoint warp later, and we're back to the entire server trying to fit on a one block wide corner. This section and the next couple sections were again just trying to fight player collision more than anything, which is probably why after a while of watching players stumble over each other like newborn puppies, Ish warped us all to the final challenge, the cube. The cube was an enclosure that contained two types of blocks, dirt and barriers. In case you don't know, barriers are invisible, unbreakable blocks that are usually used to make invisible walls. But in this case, they were used to slowly deprive me of any remaining sanity. To make it to the top of the cube, I would need to break through the dirt and navigate around the barrier blocks in order to parkour and build my way to the very top. Well, up until now, I had just been one of the crowd, unable to progress any further than my peers due to the sheer volume of bodies blocking my path, the cube was wide enough that I had a chance to forge my own way. With determination in my eyes, I carefully but quickly made my way through the maze. The noise of breaking dirt blended with the blood pumping through my veins, as with each block I traversed I got closer to the goal. Nothing, nobody was going to stand in my way this time. I was already halfway through and gaining speed and victory Somebody already beat the parkour. 